With Weblec, you get direct access to top experts in equine medicine and surgery. Provided you've made a diagnosis, and hopefully we're going to help you with that, once you've made a diagnosis, in order to determine the significance, you need to look at the whole horse, not just auscultated heart. So quite deliberately, most of this presentation is devoted to assessing the significance of murmurs, which you will need to do by examining the horse and not just its heart. Of course, we're dealing with an athletic animal, so it's a bit of a, a paradox, really, that cardiac disease is a very rare cause of poor performance in the horse. However, on the rare occasion that actually the horse's heart fails due to severe valve disease or a horrible congenital abnormality, and this is rare, um, it often gets mis misdiagnosed because no one's expecting it. This horse here that you see on the screen, this is Charlie Smith, one of uh, my colleagues here in Newmarket, and you can see he's examining this horse here. Now, this horse is in acute left-sided heart failure because he's had catastrophic rupture of one of its major mitral cordae. If you're really observant and your screen quality is good enough, you'll first of all get a clue because his armpits are clipped up for cardiography. But if you look really closely, you'll see that he's got a tiny little plaque of ventral edema. If you were standing next to him, you'd see his respiratory rate was still 18 beats a breath a minute. And if you auscultated him, you'd see his heart rate was still 56. However, he looks pretty good. And it's not uncommon for these animals to be presented, particularly by racehorse trainers, for their favourite go faster off, whichever one is particularly trendy at that moment, without the vet really having had a chance to look at it, only to find that they're either in heart failure, we have two of those come to the treadmill at the Animal Health Trust, or uh, they're in atrial fibrillation. So it's still worth checking, but in general, horses that present with poor performance are unlikely to have cardiac disease. That said, these animals are athletes and they have enormous cardiovascular disease. It's important because they're the only type of bowel problem that are at a higher risk of dropping dead before they show signs of heart failure. So the client blissfully unaware it's got one problem. It's still galloping about, going on, having a lovely time, doing its dressage. Nobody has a scooter. The problem with aortic valve regurgitation is that if you imagine from a pathophysiological point of view what's happening, the aorta is always at a high pressure because that's what makes sure the horse refuses all its tissues during diastole. When the valve leaks really badly, all of that blood hurtles back into the left ventricle. So the left 